Okay, apologies on the uh, the day day after the game posting this video. I didn't have enough time last night to, to do the match review on the Bracknell Bees, these guys, and the uh, Victor Dynamos. Uh, but it finished 5 1 at Bracknell. It was a physical encounter. I'm not going to lie on that. Uh, don't mind a physical game. Uh, Josh Smith got two goals, three assists. Robin Malinick got two goals. Sean Thompson got a goal and assist. So he continues his, you know, his form as well. Banya Antonoff for me. Best player on the ice again last night. Four assists, no goals, which is a shame. I think he deserved to put the puck in the net. And Aiden Dowdy has also played quite well. He's he's, he's a good two-way forward. Another assist. So this gets the goal from Victor with Bartlett and Zosiak assisting. All six goals were of good quality. The game itself was physical. There were some big hits. And even Vanya Antonov, the, some of the smaller players, he, yes, he was throwing his body around. Um, with the physicality, I love the physicality. I like that style of play as a fan. Not everyone will, but I like, you know, watching big thunderous hits. It get it gets the crowd going. Um, it gets your teammates going. I know that from playing rugby. Put a big hit in on a player. But the refereeing standard wasn't great last night. Um, and it overshadows how well Brackle played. And Victor played well in periods as well. It overshadows the, the positives out of this game, which were six really good goals. Um, the the that the Antonoff Thompson Smith line really well being unstoppable. They're having a great run of run of goal scoring and assists. Uh, Malinick uh, and Dowdy playing well as well. There were other players who really played well um, in the in the lineup. And that's what I want to talk about is these guys having you know a good start of the season. Invicta, yeah, they were physical. That's their game plan. They stuck to it. Fair play to them. But no, the refereeing, the refereeing annoyed me last night. It was not great. And this is an issue within British ice hockey is the refereeing stand. Uh, I, I know we as fans are critical of officials. But when you're not getting basic calls right, that if you call that thing, you don't have the more serious offence later on to deal with where a player could get injured. And players take the game into their own hands and the rules in their own hands where they start, you know, unnecessary fighting that isn't needed because a dirty hit's been got away with because the referee isn't calling it. Yes, I like watching the physicality and the spice of a game like that. I don't mind it. I do like a good, a good you know, bit of male bonding, as I call it. But it's not always necessary in a game. And hockey has the perception with some people who don't watch it that they fight all the time. And they don't. I've only seen what one Bracknell game where there's been a possible. Well, it was a Dowdy took a roughing penalty because the other guy turtled, but dirty hit. Guy steps and step up, step in for his teammate because the referee hasn't initially called the penalty. Now we were lucky last night that both sets of players kept cool heads for the most part. There were one or two flashpoint incidents which could have really, really got out of control. But they didn't, for the most part. Um, I'd say there was there was one particular incident where, yeah, there, every player on the ice, apart from the goaltenders, got into a bit of a bundle. I'll call it a bundle. It wasn't really a line brawl. It wasn't really a fight. But there was there was some definite face washing. There was some some definite you know chirping going on, holding. They didn't quite come to blows. They could have. Um, and then you've got 10 players taking lumps out of each other. You've only got three officials. That's, that's three pairs of eyes um, with when you've got 10 pairs of hands throwing punches. And it could it could have escalated into that. Now, I'm not saying line brawls are a bad thing. Um, there is, no, they're not as common as they used to be. They're rare. When they happen, they do happen. But you could tell the mood of the game didn't necessarily have that air of hate-hate between the sides they didn't they don't like each other from some instance last season but the players involved in those incidents have moved on from both teams so that took a bit of the heat out of the game but the game could have boiled over and that could have ruined you know that, that could have really meant that you didn't get the five one scoreline um but i don't want to talk about poor officiating every game but i fear that every game i do a match review on which i'm going to try and do every home game at bracknell do a match review from if i can I, I do fear that this season, officiating again is going to be a talking point when it shouldn't be. The quality level has clearly improved 
from what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing and what I'm reading online and what I'm what I'm hearing at, at rinks when, uh, when I talk to the away fans at games. The quality level has gone up this year, which is good. Um, considering the restructuring of the National League and the collapse of the EPIHL because Manchester Phoenix went out of business and Guildford and Milton Keynes uh, went up to the Elite League and the restructuring of, of the national setup. Quality level, it was it was a experimental season last season with the seven teams left from the EPA, uh, EPIHL going into the NIHL system. So from, from what I've seen, the quality level is better this year. Um, the, 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 the players that were, were in the national English National Leagues have stepped up and those players that were in the, the level above have kept that quality level there. So the quality level from playing wise is better. Officiating has got to catch up. Um, because the, the sport is growing again. Um, there's, there's definitely more fans going to games. Um, the TV deal with free sports is helping. I've seen jerseys from all over, from leagues all over the world, not just the NHL, but I've seen SPHL jerseys. Yeah, the Southern Professional Hockey League from the US at Bracknell Bees games. I have seen jerseys from European leagues um, over here in the UK. So there is definitely the interest is back in British ice hockey and ice hockey in general. Liam Kirk, Ben O'Connor, the men's national side all have a positive impact. The refereeing standards in the Elite League last year weren't good enough at times. And in the National League, they have to improve. And there are ways of doing that. And we can discuss that, you know, um, as the season goes on. Hopefully next weekend when I watch uh, Milton Keynes Thunder play Bracknell at the, at the Hive. The refereeing stand is a bit better, and it's and the and the scoreboard does the talking rather than poor officiating ruining a game. I felt the game was decent; it wasn't completely ruined, but the officiating was poor. I'm highlighting that in this video because I feel that this season this could be a talking point, and we need to understand why we're not getting people going from playing hockey into officiating because they could make the best officials. Sitch Cunningham being one, he's an ex-player, very good line linesman, and did a good. He did, did. He did all right last night. It was his his referee that he had to work with was poor. Why can't we get more players who who play, let's say, youth level hockey or amateur level to go from playing the game to officiating because they have a better understanding? That's why I'm doing it. But I'm gonna leave that there. A good result for Bracknell. Hard luck on Invicta. I just think they lack a little bit of quality. They could be the basement team this year. Um, without Cardiff Fire, they could be the basement team. We'll see. They can bounce back. We'll see if they can carry on. So far, good start to the season from Bratnell. Uh, playing really well. There's some tougher tests to come with Peterborough and Swindon. Amazing Stoke. But so far, so good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Place your thoughts below and I'll have some more videos for you soon.